Hi, this is Melanie for the Pretty Easy Channel. I'm here to do a review of an old classic called Leader, starring Rana Dagubati. So many people had recommended that I see this first film of Rana Dagbati and so that I would understand Indian politics. Well, I still don't understand, but maybe I understand them a little bit better. A lot of my confusion came from seeing Bharat Ani Nenu and not when I saw that film with Mahesh Babu, I didn't even know exactly what the chief minister's role was because the government system is so different than what we have in the United States. I guess a possible corollary would be a governor of a state that we have but it's not exactly the same and just how the politics works and how someone a young son could step into a role like that when his father dies is again not exactly the same as we would have here although when a senator has died in the U.S. we definitely have had wives finish their their term and whatever but usually there's a special election or something called or you know something like that so it's it's very different so I could see that Brad Ani Nenu is just part of a legacy of having these sort of anti-corruption kind of films and I mean I think it's loosely based you can tell me in the comments loosely based on some real politicians but not exactly what the story is but someone who is educated coming in and trying to reform the system and learning their father was part of it and was corrupt even though they thought had held their father up to such high esteem so this part of rana's journey as arjun that he goes through the grief and comforting his mother and then learns all these secrets about his father that he didn't know. So Hassini Mani Ratnam played Arjun Rana's mother in the film and she was so good. Now there was a bunch of character actors that I've seen in many other films that were particularly excellent in this film. His main rival, Rana's main rival, <clears throat> is played by Subaraju who I have seen in the second Bahubali and so forth, many other films. But here he plays a cousin who just assumes that he is going to be able to be chief minister next. And he would be a disaster because, well, he has a violent past and there's all sorts of things with him. Rao Ramesh plays his father, so Rana's uncle. And then there's another elder of the whole family, Bhutta Srinivasa Rao, who well, I've seen in many films. I mean, Dokudu, I just, I mean, I can't even name all the films that I know that I have seen him in various father roles and so forth. And here, I think this is the best role that I've ever seen him do. I mean, I know he has a lengthy career. You guys can probably tell me five of their films that are fantastic, but you know, he play his concern is not for the nation state. His concern is for the family and the family's honor and what's going to make sense for the family to keep control of the politics and the money and the everything. And it's really Rana having to tread carefully, get out from under his thumb and make his own way and do his own, own thing. And this is a story of a young man tempted by corruption, tempted by doing compromises for politics sake, and then the decisions that he finally makes to become his own person and, and forge his own path. I really like this this movie. There were some scenes that were just really epic, like when Rana comes in and surprises his cousin when he's about who thinks he's about to be named chief minister, and all that happens with that scene, amazing. I love that. Just little moments. Uh, I thought for a debut role that Rana was very confident. I mean, he's not as good as he is now. But he was very, very good. And some of the moments I liked were there was one, there was two love interests, basically. Priya Anand played this reporter that he tries to get on his side. And she's just constantly pestering him and following him around like a little puppy. She will say something to him and he will just be stone-faced to her. But then he turned around and would have this kind of secret smile. <laughs> like he didn't want to show her that she had amused him or that he was happy about what she just said. But I love that. I love that little secret smile that he would give when she couldn't see his face. 
And then there's a more complicated relationship with, okay, I'm going to murder this, with Richa Gengo Padier, who is the daughter of another important politician. I liked her, I don't know, her fierceness and her fury. And I don't know, I just really liked her character that she wasn't a one note and had her own complex backstory and so forth. And I, so I just, she was a very well-written character and I liked, you know, there was a lot going on with their relationship, but that was in the main focus of the film. The main focus of the film was Rana's relationship with his parents and, and, and the past, of, you know, reconciling to both what his dead father really was and honoring his mother and dealing with having dreams for what he wanted to be a, a leader and not just a politician was basically what he was striving for. So I liked the whole message of the film and it was just a really enjoyable watch. Sekar Kamala was both the writer and the director and I realized, I was looking through the list and I'm like, oh, I don't think I've seen anything else by this director, but he directed Fida <laughs> with Saipalavi, which I love. I'm gonna have to seek out more of his movies because I really enjoyed Fida. And that shows me again, he wrote such a great real woman in that film for Sai to play. And then some complex women in this film from 2010. So if you haven't seen Rana's debut, all of the people who commented and said, you have to watch Leader, they're right. You need to watch Leader because it's really an interesting film. I still have more to learn about Indian politics. I've got a long way to go, but I feel like I got more of a taste of what it's like, which is what you all told me this would help. I need to see Irivar now with Mohan Lal and Prakash Raj and continue my journey of learning about learning more and trying to understand a little bit more about the Indian political system. Anyway, thank you. Please like and share this video. Follow me on Twitter at PardesiYT. And if you subscribe here to Pardesi Reviews channel, then if you hit the bell, you'll get a notification whenever I have a new film reaction or film review.